Hello and welcome back to the channel. I've been collecting quite a lot of Bang & Olufsen items recently, so I thought I'd make this quick update video to show you guys and girls around what I've been purchasing. And we'll start off with this, the Bang & Olufsen Bio Center 9000. I recently acquired this with the goal of fixing it up. It had a few issues. Now, my understanding was that it just had some mechanical issues, but it was working perfectly other than that. And when I got it, the doors were missing. They weren't on there. So I had to restring them and get those working again. And while everything seems to work, the CD, the tape, and all the lights turn on, it doesn't sound very good. The amplification circuitry has an issue where there's static or there's like, it just doesn't sound very good, it sounds garbled. Now I looked at all the circuitry, and I did find one capacitor that was completely blown out. I replaced that capacitor, but that didn't seem to change the overall sound quality of the device. So that is now for sale. It's a shame because I really like these big, long, low sliding Bang & Olufsen products. And right next to that, you might have noticed, is a very similar product, but it's also the 9500. Now it's not the 9500 I made a video on. That 9500 has since sold. This is another 9500 which I acquired recently, and it's not quite as good as the 9000, whereas uh, not a lot works. The CD mechanism doesn't seem to play a CD, it seems to pause. I've cleaned it, but that didn't seem to make much of a difference. The tape uh, mechanism needs new belts. And the sound output, because this one has the ability to power PowerLink speakers or through normal amplified speakers, but there really isn't much sound coming out of this one at all on either of those channels or methods. Um, there is a slight sound, but it's very, very faint and dim. So I think this also has problems with the amplification circuitry and the CD player might need a new laser. So this is also for sale. I'm also going to be getting rid of it because it's just a bit beyond what I can fix. But above those are two Bang & Olufsen Sentries. Now I have had four Bang & Olufsen Sentries. And the reason I've had four of them is because I really like them. They are such a nice system. And to be honest, the Bang & Olufsen Sentry doesn't get as much praise as it should. It's just considered the cheap Bang & Olufsen product, but this has an amazing sound quality to it. It really has a deep, rich, room-filling, wide soundstage, which really belies its size and its age, because this came out in the early 1990s, so it's very, very old, but yet, today, it sounds very sophisticated, competent, and you know, really rather decent, and I think that they're an absolute bargain. So if you can get hold of one of these, then you should, however, be warned. And while I've had two Bang & Olufsen Bio Sentries previously, where they've both had problems with the CD player, and I've been able to replace the laser, and that's brought them back to life, with these two Bio Sentries, they both have had problems with the laser. In other words, they don't play a CD. Now, I brought lasers off AliExpress, and those didn't seem to fix the issue. So I then spent 200 New Zealand dollars buying some much better lasers off a place in Ireland of all places. And those also didn't fix the issues. And they're very much like the uh, 2500 and 2300 series. It's got the glass sliding door, as you sure it just opened up then. And this one's on a little stand, it looks really nice. This one's with a burgundy cover, and this one is with the black cover here. I reckon that the Bio Sentries sound better than the 2500, 2300, or 3000 Overture Bang & Olufsen uh, series, because with that, with the original and intended speakers, you want those speakers basically placed right next to the unit. And while they're slightly bigger speakers, and yes, they are powered, and they are quite sophisticated. The sound quality that the Bio Sentry creates and gives out sounds fantastic. And I prefer the Bio Sentry because it comes in a small size. And I still have my Bang & Olufsen Bio Sound 9000 CD player. And it's still paired with a pair of 8000 Bio Lab speakers and a Bio Lab 2 subwoofer. 
I also have this Bang & Olufsen Bio Center 3300 from the late 1970s. It's enormous and very heavy and it doesn't really work all that well. This needs reattaching. This piece of metal here is quite loose. This is loose. Uh, the bit on the back is coming off here. I think that's a weight of some kind. There's a big sort of dent there. You can see there's that uh, indentation there. This little badge here comes off. Uh, so yeah, not in the best of condition. It does turn on, the turntable will spin, but as for the lights on the rest of the device, nothing seems to light up. And I'm not sure if the rest of it's actually working, so it could be a dead fuse, it could be hopefully something simple that's stopping this all functioning. Hopefully we can bring life back to this, but for now it's quite dead. Um, you open this up and this is where all your controls are. Balance, base, that's also loose. Um, cool device if we can get it working. I also have this Bang & Olufsen Bioplay V1 television from the mid 2010s. It's the first Bioplay television launched and has this very interesting uh, design which makes it look very industrial. This is all metal and it looks like it's hinged over. It's not actually hinged, it's just started to look that way. And it's on this very interesting stand. This was actually a wall stand which I've converted into a uh, table stand because getting a stand for one of these is next to impossible. It's a uh, really interesting television, great sound quality because it has a decent uh, full length speaker. Um, it was very expensive when it was new, it was over $6,000 and that's for the 32 inch model and it's not a smart TV either. There's no smart TV features, it's just a normal television with a very interesting menu structure. And while this looks like it could be a webcam, it's just the infrared sensor. So it has the look of a giant computer monitor. This is the Bang & Olufsen B01. Very interesting product, a big curved front, very minimalist. It's the replacement for the Bang & Olufsen B02. And it sounds reasonably good. I've made a full video about this product, so you should go check that out. Moving on to some smaller Bang & Olufsen items, we have the E8 Motion Earbuds. Moving on to some smaller Bang & Olufsen items, we have the Bio Play E8 Motion 2.0 Earbuds. We have this interesting remote control, which I probably shouldn't have brought because it doesn't actually control any of my Bang & Olufsen products. We have the Bio Sound Explorer, and we have the B&O Play H6 Special Edition headphones, which come in this rather lovely brown leather and coppery gold color. 